Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. So let's start today. As you remember that in first video we discuss about the simple interest rate along with the time value of money introduction. In second video we discuss compound interest rate future value. Today we'll start present value. Time value of money part three. Present value. We are showing present value with PV. Let's go for an example to understand about the present value. Example one. Assume that you need dollar one thousand after completion of one year. Let's examine the process to determine how much you need to deposit today if discount rate seven percent. You remember that when we calculated future value, we use compound rate. Here we are talking about the discount rate because the money will be devalued in future, as we know through the present value. Let us see. We'll go. So before the solution, as you know, future value is equal to P zero means present value, or you can say that principal amount what we are going to be deposit in bracket one plus i power n. You are very much aware with this formula because in previous video we saw that if you have any doubt to understand this formula, just go for the video number two, our time value part two. You will get to know that full explanation. For future value, let's continue so that P zero will be represent present value means P V zero level or beginning year. In this case, we can say that P zero is equal to future value and the value what is written over with P zero it is going to be divided by one plus i power n. So now we will try to solve the example. Let's put the value in the given. Formula P zero is equal to now future value for one year divided by one plus i power one. So as per the example, we need one thousand after a year. So let's why future value is equal to one thousand whole divided by one plus i. We invested at seven percent, and what would be the value after one year? Means power one. Once you are going to be solve this through the calculation, I has showed in. Video number two: How to use calculator. Just do it in the same way. You will get the value is 934.579. It means the value of 1000 after one year at 7% discount rate is become 934.579. Understand? The meaning is there. The value is devaluating in future. So the purchasing power of 1000 today is not equal after one year. Then how much the purchasing power after one year? That is shown in this video. That is 934.579. So this is the value after one year. Let us see what about after completion two year? If the discount rate is same, seven percent, and it is discounted annually. So let us see. Present value is equal to future value. We are going for two year. It means what we need after two year divided by one plus i power two because we are going to be calculate for second year. So let us see. We'll put the value. Future value means after two year we want one thousand and we want to deposit our money at seven percent into the interest for two years. So once you will use the calculator again as per my given instruction, you will get the value is. 873.4387. It means your value is going to be decline more. So 1000, if you are receiving today, yeah, the purchasing capacity of 1000 is equal to 1000. If you want to receive 1000 after one year, it is not become 1000. It is reducing their value. If discount rate is 7%, it is 334.579 after one year, and 873.4387 after two years. As we calculated present value after one year with the given formula P zero is equal to future value for one year divided by one plus interest rate and power one year. 
and when we calculate it for present value after two year, we get or we use the formula P0 or PV0 is equal to future value for two year divided by one plus I power two. It means two is showing one and two is showing one year and two year. So we can say in same way, if we are going to be use or calculate present value for third year, we will use how much we need after third year. So future value three divided by one plus I power three and so on. It means what is the meaning of so on? It means if you are going to be calculate the future value of fourth year, we need to know that future value of four year divided by one plus I in place of N will put the value four. So at the end, we can explain the formula or general formula for calculating present value for any year means n number of year. So we can say that present value at zero level means what would be the present value. We'll use the formula future value for any years means five year, 10 year, 15 years. We can use any any number. So it means we want to know that what is the value of 1000 after 10 year. So we will use the present value formula because we are calculating future value actual amount what we are going to be received as presently if we will present after 10 year. So future value is n divided by 1 plus pi i power n. This is the formula what we are going to be used for calculating future value. So present value is equal to now we get to know that the final formula is present value for zero year is equal to future value up to the n year 1 plus i power n. It means n number of year where we can explain the PV is representing amount received at the end of the year. End of the year, as I told you that, maybe after one year, after two year, after five year, after 10 year, and so on. So FV is showing here that uh, future value required. It means how much money you need after a certain period, either one year, two year, five year, 10 year, and so on. I is representing as usual interest rate and n is always representing number of years. It means whether you are going to be received or paid or invested. Here we have an alternative formula as if you remember that I discussed in a video two. Video two we discuss about the future value alternate formula. Here we have alternative formula for present value. So present value alternative formula will use the same present value PV zero is equal to future value up to n year. But in bracket, we are not going to be calculated with the calculator 1 plus i power n. Here we have a given percentage or given amount that present value investment factor i and n is showing interest rate and number of years. So as I told you that this table is given at the end of the book. So same it is going to be explained here. See the discounted interest table at the end of the book. It is also known as present value table. So present value table you will get at the end of the book. Normally in appendix it is a second table. First table is compounded interest rate. Second table is discounted rate. Some book is writing that future value interest rate. Some is present value interest rate. So you will go accordingly at the end of the book. Definitely you will get the table and you will get the numbers as well. This is the table sample I brought here. Present value investment factor I and N is found on the table at the end of the book as I showed you. Normally the table in the same way as I already explained in my previous video. But here it is given period. Period means years. Our year of investment, our year of receivings. It is given 1 to 40 years in some book 1 to 30 years. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So here, suppose if you are using that, we are using the one year, two year, three year, four year, five year investment, either 10 year investment, 15 year investment, you will get all over there. Even the percentage is mentioned from one, two, three till 30% are in some books, even though 40%. So you can get all percentages. So here we have no need to calculate the formula or use the calculator to multiply or get the formula. Here we have a given number. So suppose you can see that second year they are mentioning at 6% interest rate it is 890, at 7% 873, at 8% it is 857. Uh, even though you can get to know that the period suppose 7%, one year if you are going to be get 1000 or $1, it is the value is 935. After two year the value would be 873. 
after three years the value would be 816 and so on so you are looking over here this table is showing that value is declining or decreasing continuously so the one dollar is not equal to one dollar after a year or maybe after a second year after a third year after a fourth year the value is declining hope you understand we'll continue with the next so let us see solve the same problem what we solved before through the calculator now we'll solve with the help of table given in the book so table i already presented here as i told you that we are using that seven percent so i just highlighted the value at seven percent period means years are mentioning here one two five because we are using up to two year only in a previous example we'll focus on it so let us see we'll put the formula we need a present value after two year and we need dollar 1000 as a future value what we we want to receive after two year in bracket present value investment factor here we are mentioning that i i is seven percent as same and number of years are two so now we'll put the seven percent seven percent is mentioned in the table over here and the two year is mentioned in the period so we get to know that what is the value of seven percent and two year it is 0.873 so let us put in place of pvif the value of 783 so once we will put the value 1000 multiplied by 0.873 we'll get the total value is 873 due to the rounding up because this value we round up if you remember that we got before 873.479 approx value so this difference is due to the rounding up. We can say that this is a calculated table given in the book. We calculated through that. If you will get calculated through the calculator, you will get the exact value what you are going to be received. This is a lump sum value. Understand? We'll take another example for more understanding. Example two, Mr. Sam want to receive dollar 10,000 after five years at a discount rate of 10%. He is looking for your advice that how much he should get the value of 10,000 after five years. So let us see, we'll try to solve his problem and we will tell him that how much he is going to be get actual value after five years. It means what is the present value of 10,000 after five years. So calculate based on the general formula first, general formula, present value is equal to future value n year divided by 1 plus i power and here you know that the value of n is 5 and the value of i is 10. So let us see, we'll use the value, future value we need 10,000 divided by 1 plus 0 0.10 power 5. Once you will get the value, you will multiply through the calculator, you will get the value is 6,209.21. It means if he is going to be received 10,000 after 10 years, the value of 10,000 is not 10,000. It is only 6,209.21. Let us solve the same problem with given table at the end of the book as I explained to the present value table. So calculate based on the present value investment factor I and N. I is 10%. N is 5 years. So we'll go for 10%, we'll go for 5 year in period. We'll, know, we'll get to know that how much percentage is written over here. So future value 10,000 we need. Future value investment factor is given in the table is 0.621 as mentioned here. It is 0.621. We'll put the value multiply together. We will get to know that 6,210. This is small changes due to the rounding up that is mentioned here. As I told you that before many times in book, the table is always rounding up because only three digits value is available. Some book even given four value. So it's depend upon the web book to book. You will get the value accordingly. So here we get to know that 6,210 are we calculated to the calculator. That exact value what you are going to be received is 6,209.21. Both are showing that your 10,000 is not Keeping the value or purchasing capacity at 10,000, the value will be reduced 6,209. One more thing is there in your mind. If we are going to be compound interest rate, not discount at 10%. So 
So if we want to deposit or we want to receive the 10,000 after five year, what is our deposited money today? That time will you have to calculate that this will become the same 6,209.21 if you deposit today and your money will be compounded at 10%. So the present value would be 10,000 after five years. So in both ways we can explain. Hope you understand this video. So let us going to be concluded with thanks, but we are not going to be stop here. Continue with the part four. It means we will go for the fourth video and that video will discuss about the NOT. So be with me and before leaving, don't forget to like and subscribe my videos and my channel. It will be encourage me to give you or produce new good videos for your understanding and knowledge purpose. Definitely you will get gain. Thank you very much.